Let's look at some advanced forms of dimensions, such as dual dimensioning and tolerance dimensioning. Here we have a drawing that's been measured in imperial units. That's feet, inches, and fractions of inches. If we want to send this drawing to a country that works with metric units, then we can add metric units to existing imperial dimensions. To do so, go to the Annotate tab and then click on the little button to access the Dimension Style Manager. Select a style here and then click the Modify button. Normally the units are being displayed as primary units, architectural format to the nearest sixteenth of an inch. To turn on dual dimensioning, click on the Alternative Units tab. Turn on Display Alternative Units and you can see the default is decimal. Decimal is the same as metric. Precision we will reduce down to zero and then the multiplier is the number that NanoCAD uses to multiply the inches and feet in order to arrive at millimeters. And you may recognize the 25.4 conversion unit. You can place the alternative units after the primary unit or below it. And I'm going to choose below. Click OK and then click Close. And you can see that NanoCAD has placed the metric units below the inches one. If you've ever cut a piece of wood, you know it's difficult to cut it precisely at the correct length. And the same occurs in manufacturing. Machines don't necessarily produce items at the precise size the designer called for, and so it's not uncommon for designers to specify a tolerance. Typically that means that's the maximum length something can be, and the minimum, shown as something like plus or minus 0.1 units. To add tolerance to your dimensions in a drawing, go once again to the Dimensions panel, and click on the button to access the Dimension Style Manager. In the dialog box, click Modify, and then go over to the Tolerances tab. When you click on the drop list next to Method, you see that there's four different ways of doing it. And I'll briefly show you each one. Let's start with Symmetrical. That means that the deviation is the same in the positive and the negative, in the upper value and the lower value. So I've got in here 0.05. I'll click OK click close and now you see the tolerance as a symmetrical deviation. Go back into the tolerances tab and this time we will say deviation and you can see that you have a different upper and lower value. So I've made them different. Click OK and let's see what they look like. So now the dimension has an upper limit and a lower limit beyond which the manufacturing should not exceed. Limits. So here I'll leave the upper and lower value the same. Click OK and close. And now instead of showing dimension with plus or minus value, the actual upper and lower values. The fourth type of tolerance is called basic. And it puts a square box around the dimension and that alerts the manufacturer that these distances are subject to tolerances. And in order to indicate what the tolerance should be, there is a note on the drawing, such as this one, unless otherwise specified, linear tolerances plus or minus 0.1 units. This saves the designer from having to specify the same tolerance over and over again for every single dimension. Mm -hmm.